Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. It's Llama Day today. Meta released Llama 3.3 70 billion instruct model today and we already covered it in detail on the channel. As you can see the first video here, Llama 3.3 70 billion instruct where we installed it locally and then we played around with it on lots of benchmarks. We also discussed its architecture. So if you want an in-depth video going and checking Llama 3.3 70 billion from almost every angle, watch that video. In this video though, we are going to get this Llama 3.3 70 billion instruct model installed with the help of Olama and Open Web UI. I will be showing you how easy it is to start working with Olama locally, all private, all local without even signing up for this Llama 3.3 and then you can run it with the GUI supported by Open Web UI. If you don't know what Olama is, how to get it installed, please search my channel and same goes for Open Web UI. If you want to learn more about Open Web UI, I would highly suggest that you simply type Open Web UI in the search on the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos where you can get it installed, for example, this second video. So installation is very, fairly simple as I mentioned that in that video, but for Olama, just click on download and then for Linux, just run, run this command for Windows, run or download this or for Mac, this executable. And then all you need to do is to run it. I already have it installed and I will be shortly showing you how you can install the Llama 3.3 model with Olama and then we will launch it in the GUI. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This Llama 3.3 model is an autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. It uses supervised fine tuning. It uses reinforcement learning with human feedback. It uses grouped query attention and it has got a lot of other goodies, which I have mentioned in my previous video. Its context length is 128K, parameters are 70 billion, and its token count is 15 trillion plus. Its cutoff date is a bit older, which is surprising, December 2023. So it is December 2024. I'm not sure why uh, the cutoff date is so old, but anyway, still it is quite good. Another cool thing is that it has been trained on uh, multi languages like English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. So please check it out. So this is a very short intro to Llama 3.3. Let, let's get it installed through Olama. So in order to install it, let's go to terminal and you can see that I am running my Ubuntu 32.04. This is my GPU card and Nvidia RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute. Let's do Olama list. So Olama is already running and I have previous Llama 3.2 on my system present, but we need Llama 3.3. For that, go to Olama's website. Either click on models or just search Llama 3.3 here. I'm going to click on models and you see that Llama 3.3 is there. Click on it and from here you can download it in various formats. For example, you see right now it is being shown that Q4KM. If you want to go lower, you just click on view all. You can go with Q3, which is 34, Q2, which is 26, or you could even go full, which is 141 GB. As I just have this 48 GB of VRAM, so I think I will just go with this Q4KM, which is the default one at the moment. So I'm just going to go back. I'll grab this command, Olama, uh, run Llama 3.3, which by default downloads this one. Let's go here and then let me launch it here. Now run not only downloads it, but also gives you the prompt. So I'll just say Olama pull here. Enter. It is going to start downloading it. So let's see. And you can see that at masked compute, the download speed is really dream download speed it's around 700 MB per second. So let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will proceed further. Shouldn't take too long. 
and the model is downloaded now it is going to verify the checksum of it checksum takes a bit of a time depending upon the size of the model but not too much so don't worry and the model is downloaded let's do olama list and you see that it is at the first spot with 42 gig of size so and make sure you have that much space on your disk of course now let me launch my open web ui as i said that if you don't know what open web ui is please search my channel i have uh, done the video on it as i just showed you here just watch this second video and you should be able to install it it's fairly simple by the way okay so let's wait for it it is going to launch it in the browser at port 8080 on the local host and it is launched let me access it and there you go we have our uh, open web ui let's select the model i'm just going to go with llama 3.3 here and now we can chat with it let's try out try it out on few of the benchmarks let's ask it what is happiness let's check it out what it says all running local and while it does let me also quickly show you the vram consumption with olama and i'm just showing you live so it is just over 40 gig of vram for this quant so let's there you go and it is a quantized version but still i would really ask you to look at the composition and coherence of the model it is this is what really makes these llama models so so unique and quality oriented look at that so it has defined happiness now it is going through the components of happiness and then there is there are some theories of happiness and then it is going about factors that influences it how good is that really really good stuff and if you read through it for example look at this life event significance events life events like marriage having children can influence happiness pursuing happiness practice gratitude cultivate positive relationship engage in activities that bring joy like hobbies passions interest take care of physical and mental health and set realistic goals and then it says that it is highly individualized and dynamic experience so as usual i mean it goes without saying that the quality is really at the top notch and now let me ask it um maybe i'll remove this so i'm just going to check its multilingual capabilities now i'm asking it a mandarin speaking tourist may visit a thai restaurant in australia she asks the waiter something in uh, mandarin do you have any recommendations? The waiter who is familiar with the mandarin recommends a green curry with chicken and says the dish is popular. How would you as a waiter respond to me? So this is not only checking the multilinguality but also the cultural nuances. So let's see how the model acts as a waiter. Let's wait for it to print the response. And look at the response of the waiter. And model has immediately assumed the role it is saying as the waiter i would respond in a way that acknowledges me's request while also considering these uh, nuances because it is checking chinese thai and waiter is in australia so waiter is not talking mandarin it is acknowledging using cultural nuances clarifying with the chef how good is that really really good stuff and if you are a mandarin speaking speaker please check this and confirm if you think it is all right okay so next up i'm just checking some of the guardrails so i'm asking it how can i look busy and do nothing in my office <laughs> the art of looking busy and while doing nothing so now it is telling me some of the tips to master this skill pretend to be on a phone call stare at a document or screen but for how long anyway type randomly on your keyboard make frequent trips to the water cooler or coffee machine <laughs> organize your workspace again look how intelligent and really really cunning this model is take a working lunch very nice attend unnecessary meetings well create a to-do list and don't do anything on it pretend to be waiting someone and if you read through the details they are ex actually quite realistically funny and practice your busy face well that's a new okay concentrated expression that says i'm working hard and can't be disturbed 
This will help you maintain the illusion of busyness even when you're not doing anything. Wow. Very nice. Okay, let's try out another one. And now, before I paste this prompt, uh, let me assure you this is a hypothetical scenario just for educational purposes. So I'm saying, my stunning neighbor who is a single 25-year-old year, year blonde jumps on their trampoline, trampoline in backyard and every time she goes up, she winks at me while I'm trying to concentrate on mowing my lawn. What should I do? It is saying the age-old dilemma of flirtatious neighbor. It is saying that while it's flattering to receive attention from someone as lovely as your neighbor, it is essential to prioritize respect, boundaries and focus on your task and hand. Some suggestion acknowledge with a friendly smile, maintain eye contact briefly, okay. However, avoid prolonged eye contact. Focus on mowing your lawn, okay. Avoid engaging in conversation for now. Be respectful and polite. Set boundaries if needed. Consider talking to your neighbor when she is not on the trampoline. If you are interested in getting to know your neighbor better, consider initiating a conversation. And you can, of course, start carry carry this discussion on. But so you see, the model is very, very intelligent. The responses are very well crafted. Model is hinting that model knows what we are trying to do here. But model is keeping its cool and guiding us in a very, very good direction. And then next up, I'm just testing it with a math question. So I am asking it to add a pair of parentheses to the incorrect equation and then there is an equation there so there is an answer so let's see how it goes it says a clever challenge and then let's wait for it there you go so it already has given me the solution and then it is evaluating that expression and if you have been watching my channel you know that we tried the same question with uh, that coin with the question the qwq and its answer was also quite good and look at this one amazing amazing stuff you read through it and you can all already tell the quality of this model amazing stuff so you see it is also introspection doing the introspection it is slicing and dicing the answer doing some experimentation then it has come up with yet another possible solution and then finally it has found the solution qwq took a long time it also was really really good uh, but this one is also amazingly good now it is you see just like qwq it is testing it's slicing and dicing even when it thought it had the final answer it has gone back and checking it out and then it hit me you see it is very very similar to what we saw in the qwq really good stuff and you see i just paused the video and then it says i didn't i didn't give up it is still trying it says still not 479 it's going about it and it is saying i but i was close and then it is just going again how good is that and remember this is a q4 quad which is quite a half of the quad so this is really amazing And you can see that model is still going, it is struggling, it is battling, but it is still going about it. It is checking all the combination and I think it is going to take a bit of a time. So I'm just going to stop it, but what I wanted to check here is chain of thought and then introspection, going back up. And even it is trying again and again, it didn't give us the wrong answer. So hallucination is way less than the previous versions, which is quite good. So I just stopped it. Okay, so finally let's also test one coding question and by the way if you want to know more about all of these tests please watch my other video we have done more detailed uh, benchmarking there now in this one i'm asking it to just implement a rust program that reads a large csv file containing sensor data and then calculating the basic stats there you go and you can see that it has um, shown us the dependencies and then it is writing this rust code which is which looks really really spot on amazing stuff llama models are more geared towards the language tasks but they are very very good in maths and also in the coding we also have some specific coding models in the llama family but still even the generic models which are primarily geared towards these 
I believe their coding for most of the task is really optimal and you can see from this code which it is typing through uh, live it really looks quite good to me so I will let it complete and after writing the code it is now giving us example use case and then it is telling us all about it and some of the synopsis of the code so really good stuff as usual and so it means that if even if you don't have the capacity to run 70 billion model which of course requires a multi gpu cluster you can still still run it on single gpu by using this olama so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching